I'm Gio Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I regret to inform you that today's video will not be about shaving. Today's video, since the channel is called Shaving and More, will be about tools. That's right, old tools, new tools, new tools that you wanna make them feel like they're old tools, but they're not old tools. You're probably slightly confused right now, correct? What I'm talking about is electrician's pliers. I don't know if you know, but before I started Shave Nation, I was an electrician for a long time. And this was the last pair of Kleins. We call them Kleins because that was the major company making these for a long time. These are nine inch lineman pliers. And you can see how these are a bit abused and beaten, used. There's a chip in there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a chip. It's not from a spark or an arc, but it's from cutting something that was way too hard to be cutting. We use these for stripping wires, cutting wires. We use them, although you're not supposed to, we use them as a hammer oftentimes. And I like to get the ones that have the crimping tool right here. See that crimping tool? That way you don't have to carry a second set of pliers on you all the time. In a pinch, you can crimp a Stacon terminal real quick with these pliers, which is awesome. You wanna have good insulated pliers, make sure they're not cut. And these, you have the chip, you have the handles which are loose. You can see I can pull this one completely off. Both of them are like that. So these have seen better days. And the best part about them is they're broken in. You can see that they just flop open, no problem, from open to closed. So that makes it a lot easier to work with the tool. This is how you want them to feel, but you want them to be new, but still feel like this. You don't want them to feel like this new pair that I just picked up. These are Milwaukee, and you can see nothing happening here. They're not going, I mean, if I push it, yeah, it'll open a little, but this is stuck in, you know, very difficult. There's a lot of friction going on there holding it open. So we're gonna attempt to open these up. These are new ones. These have the crimping tool. These have the slot, just like my old ones did for pulling a fish tape. I'm sure I'm going to be hammering with these as well. But since I won't be using them as much as I used to on a daily basis, it would take me a long time to get these broken in so that they flop open easily. So I'm gonna show you a trick that will enable you to break these in in about five or 10 minutes. That's all, very quickly, instead of a year. <laughs> so that's quite a time saver. All you need to accomplish this is this right here. This is called Permatex Water Mix Valve Grinding Compound. That's it and some WD-40, and the spray bottle is best with a little pointable sprayer so you can concentrate it exactly where you want it to go on the pliers, and some sort of an old brush, an old toothbrush works, or these are very handy to keep in your tool bag at all times. These little disposable sponge brushes, these are excellent for lots of different chores. Let's take a look at the Permatex. Oh, by the way, I'll put links down below the video where it says show more so you can pick up all these items and uh, you can do this on your own. This is the Permatex Water Mix Valve Grinding Compound. Let's crack it open and take a look. To me, it looks like a liquid graphite or a really cool black sparkle paint that you would put on a hot rod or a motorcycle to trick it out and make it look awesome. But what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna take a little dab and with the brush, apply it to all the pivot points here, 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 wherever it pivots, those friction points, we're gonna dab on the compound in those areas and then we're gonna work it in and then we're gonna spray it out with the WD-40. And we just keep doing that until they flop open like you want them to. By the way, if you'd rather watch some shaving videos, I have about 400 shaving videos you can check out. Straight razors, safety razors, cream soaps, straps, stones, sharpening, everything. If you're not interested in this tool video, then check those out. All right, let's get to work. You may also want to put on some latex gloves. These are disposable gloves just to protect your fingers because they'll probably get dirty doing this. And some safety glasses, always a good idea to protect your eyes. Okay, let's do this. Crack open the Permatex Water Mix Valve Grinding Compound. And let's take our little sponge brush and just dab it in there. And we're just gonna coat 
the pivot points, the friction points, top and bottom, so that it seeps in between and it will just loosen it up slightly, just a microscopic amount, so that the pliers will open and close freely. You can hear it's a little bit gritty or grindy. Cover that back up. Just work that in. Eleven twenty seven. And we'll spray it out with the WD forty. Use the red nozzle to direct it into the pivot points. Dry that off. Dry off the WD-40. Let's apply some more of the compound. Make sure it gets right in those cracks. Rinse it out more with the WD-40. Let's dry them off again. And apply the compound one more time. Fill up those cracks and those crevices, the pivot points. Let's rinse it out. Getting there, I almost got it. A little bit when it's fully open, a little bit more work in that area, and we should have it. There we go, it swings from all the way closed to all the way open. You can hear it clicking on both sides. Beautiful. Eleven thirty-six. So what was that? About nine minutes. Less than ten minutes. We got them broken in, as opposed to six months to a year. 
give it a thorough cleaning. You can see a little bit of ooze still seeping out from the center pin that holds the two jaws together right there. But that's just a little bit left over. It's still lubricating, which is a good thing. The WD-40 will also keep them from rusting, which is good. We went from stuck to easily opening, no problem. Either way, beautiful. So we took a brand new tool and in less than 10 minutes, made it work like an old tool. But it will be sharp and crisp and will strip wires much easier and cut wires much easier. These are ready to go to work. I'm back. All right, that was fun, wasn't it? We took a brand new pair of Milwaukee nine inch lineman pliers that would not open on their own. They needed force from the fingertips to open them. Now they open, no problem whatsoever. Fully closed, fully opened. It's a beautiful thing. Only took 10 minutes, well worth the investment. Rather than dealing with tools that are difficult to open, causing you pain and irritation for the next six months until they get fully broken in, these players are ready to go to work right now. Love it. Here's the old pair, old beat up pair. Gonna get rid of those, and these are going in the tool bag. You can also do this with your side cutters. See, these are not opening on their own fully either. And also your needle nose or lung nose pliers. You can do it on those as well. Probably be easier on these. That worked so well and was so easy, I'm gonna go and do these, the long nose and the side cutters. Get those in brand new old tool condition as well. All right, I'm back. You know I couldn't resist doing all three tools, so let me show you the results. The Kleins, or I should say the Milwaukee Lineman nine inch pliers, nice and loose, ready to go to work. The side cutters, same, also nice and loose. And the needle nose or long nose pliers, ready to rock and roll. And it only took about 20 minutes. All three tools are good as new, or I should say good as old. If you're an electrician, you probably already know that your Klein or lineman pliers, your nine inch pliers, they're the most often used tool in your tool bag. That's the tool you reach for the most. So you want them to open and close nice and easy, just like this. Please do me a favor before I head out, smash that subscribe button down there, and then ring the bell up there so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. Also, please leave a nice comment and hit that like button as well. We'll put links to all these items down below the video where it says show more. So if you want to pick them up, you can grab them right there, nice and easy. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shape, have a great day.